Hello everyone, today is market day. This will be my first vlog for my first Christmas market of the year. This market is inside an elementary school and I'm excited to show you how it went. If you're new here, my name is Kelly and I'm currently enjoying my mat leaf with my little one and I love making hair accessories. I'm currently documenting my small business journey with my husband and you can expect to see my adorable little one making a cameo appearance in some of my videos. I was actually really sad that it was raining this morning. Although the fair is in a covered area, I was really worried about the rain deterring people from driving out to the event. Initially, we were allowed to park at the front of the school to unload our stuff, but we had to park our car on the side street as the parking lot in the front was reserved for shoppers, which is entirely reasonable. Of course, we want our shopper to find parking. When we got there, everything was super organized. I gave them my name and was told my booth number, and I also had a volunteer direct me to my table. My little one was also waking up from her little nap. I'm using my tablecloth for the very first time as I didn't like the tablecloth we were using previously. My husband started helping me with building my cage display. I'm so grateful to have him around as I don't know how I would be able to finish everything all by myself. We usually give ourselves at least an hour to set up, but with having our little one, it took us a while to get out the door, so we made it in time for half an hour before setting up. I don't think I found an easy way to set up any faster than I already do now. I felt that clipping my hair clip onto the display one at a time took forever when we have other things to set up and we also have to check up on our little one to see how she's doing from time to time. She's always trying to climb out of the bassinet so we have to keep an eye on her while interacting with other customers. In the hallway, I was pretty surprised that there were a lot of silent auction items and I also heard that they were doing 50-50 tickets. There's also a concession stand for people to get some snacks. There was also a crafting section for kids. It seems like there was a lot happening to keep people entertained. Here is the view from the back of my booth. It was pretty slow at the beginning and we actually made one sale a few minutes before opening while we were still trying to set up. My flower wall was also a lot fuller this time and I managed to sell quite a bit of flower hair clips. Not only we were busy talking to customers, we also had to keep our little one entertained. There's my husband taking her for a little stroll. There was a point where we became so busy that we didn't have time to eat. Sometimes our kind neighbor helped keep our little one entertained. This is only our fourth market since we started our little business journey and I would have to say that it is one of our best ones so far. 
I think because I saw kids' hair clip and scrunchies, which makes sense to vend inside an elementary school, which is my kind of place for the audience I'm trying to attract. We made more sales today than at the BC Dumpling Festivals, where there was apparently over 20,000 people in attendance. I think that the people who were there at that festival were there to purchase dumpling and not to shop. So I will need to think about if I want to return to that festival again next year. If you haven't tried vending at an elementary school, I think it is worth the try and it also depends on what you're selling as well. If you want, you can also try sending an email to the pack and ask questions such as how they will be advertising the event and how many people were in attendance last year, etc. Today's craft fair was absolutely amazing. I have earned four to five times my table fee and I'm super happy with the sales I made today. While I may not be near the people making thousands of dollars in sales yet, for someone who's starting out, I'm quite happy that people actually like my stuff. This craft fair was inside an elementary school and is very well supported by the community and the organizer did an absolutely amazing job in advertising and attracting parents to the school. Overall, I did not know what to expect. In my previous video where I talked about my first market inside a school, I ended up losing money for the market and I didn't even make my table money back. I was a little nervous about doing another craft fair inside a school, but this one was definitely worth it and I would return next year. I guess it all depends on the organizer and their experience in running craft fair over the years. I hope you find this video useful if you are thinking whether or not to do a craft fair inside a school. Thank Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!